Yo, 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 yo. What up, Comic Sense crowd, community, crew, that is, community, crew, crowd, the core family. Shout out to y'all. Rise, shine, fine, fine Tuesday morning. Shout out to everyone that is in the room. Y'all already know what time it is. Focus. Final order cut off. Uncanny spec covering the keys that were on FOC 10-24-2022. Four books that are three weeks out. Y'all know what we do. First appearances, first cover appearances, first issues, key books, key books, key books, key books. That is what it is. First things first, we got these really dope lights up in here. We want to keep them on. So we are going to pay some bills. I need you all to like and follow Comic Sense on Facebook and join our Facebook group. Check us out on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us at Comic Sense on Instagram and find us on the Twitter. You know the deal. Also, there is a new Instagram account, ishue dot x, issue x, on Instagram. Find it, follow it, drop in some dope reels. That is what it is. Got a lot of cool books dropping this week from DC, some indie labels. Can't pull up the DC books, so we're going to recap them because Lunar is tripping. I'm going to try it one more time, but for some reason, the Lunar site is down, so I am not able to actually pull up Lunar and let you see what we got going on up in there. However, I'm going to give you a quick recap of Lunar, and then, as you know, we're going to do what we do. Shout out to the homie Peter Maresca in the room. Shout out to everyone that's watching. I'm going to let you know we're going to do what we do, but this is what we got for DC. We have Batman Spawn number one, tons and tons of covers. We got acetates, we got glow in the darks, and then there's a ton of covers, uh, two 666 copy ratio variants. Um, yeah, tons of covers on that book. Nightwing number 98, first appearance of Batmite, cover appearance of Batmite as well. Book you want to check for, make your phone calls. Call your people. Make sure you have these books added to your pull list. Make sure you have them. You are ready in three weeks when these books drop. Dark Crisis, World Without a Justice League, Batman number one. We are getting a brand new Batman costume. It looks really dope. Probably the best costume I've seen. Very much in the vein of Cassie Kane's Batgirl. Really dope. Um, that is Dark Crisis, World Without a Justice League, Batman, number one. Star Girl, The Lost Children, number one, first appearance in that book. Wonder Woman, number 204, facsimile edition, which is going to give you a reprint of the first appearance of Nubia, the twin sister of Wonder Woman. Listen, we like facsimile editions. We like reprints. Same spiel, right? When you are priced out of the market on some of those first appearances or those old school number ones, the trend, identify a trend before it becomes a trend, is turning or trending towards reprints, facsimiles, true believers, what have you. Then from an indie company, we have a Born of Blood, number one, also on Lunar, Death Rage, number one, and Miss Meow, number one. Would love to give you the synopses on these things. However, Lunar is tripping, and I ain't going to trip. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to jump right into Diamond right now, and we're going to get to the fire. It's what we do. So then, we're going to pull up this Diamond screen for you. There you have it. And first things first, man, you're messing with it. Man, you know what? I'm on YouTube, I'm on Facebook. I don't want to get flagged, so I'm not going to finish that song. But you already know who you're messing with. So then, boom, right out the gate. Back order, not stock, purple triangle up out of there. Grim, grim, grim. I believe this will be qualified as a fifth printing. This is your local comic shop day foil cover done by Flaviano. Um, obviously, it's pretty much the same cover as the foil cover of the first print. Sure, there will be something indicating in the barcode that it is the fifth print, a local comic shop day Grim number one. We already know the deal with Grim number one. Hottest book to drop from Boom Comics in 2022, written by Stephanie Phillips, shout out Loco, and artist cover artist Flaviano. Jessica Hero is dead, but her journey has only just begun. Discover the world of the afterlife where Jessica has been recruited as a reaper, tasked with 
burying countless souls to their final destination. But unlike the rest of the Reapers, she has no memory of what killed her and put her into this predicament. In order to unravel the mystery of her own demise, she'll have to solve an even bigger one. Where is the actual Grim Reaper? We already know what time it is on this book. Not something you want to leave on the table. Your local comic shop should be on speed dial in the cell phone era. Nobody knows the numbers anymore, right? They just contact list. That is what it is. Local comic shop, hit them up. You want the local comic shop day version of Grim number one. It is going to be a fifth printing. Next, next from Boom. Ooh, we. People love this book. I love this book. Um, The original Femme Fatale from Boom, because we got a long line of Femme Fatales that are hot to include Briar, Jessica Hero, um, even the Eve book, Erica Slaughter, Something is Killing the Children. We're going to spell this right this time. Number 26. What did we do wrong? Ah, I see, I see, I see. Something is Killing the Children, number 26, has a ton of covers as usual, but they hooked us up. They didn't give us these four and five dollar covers. They didn't give us a bunch of repetitive covers. We have an A and a B cover and a ton of racial variants. So we are going to get into it. First and foremost, here is your boom guarantee variant cover done by John Boy Myers. That is sick. That is a dope cover. Then we have your one per store unlockable cover done by Werther Deladera. And we have your one in 100 copy incentive done by Alex Maleev. One in 50 copy incentive done by Jenny Frisson. That's cool. And your one in 25 copy incentive done by Jacob Rebelka or Yakub Rebelka, if you will. Jenny Frisson, virgin, full color of her incentive video. She been on a telephone. She's been phoning it in. And that is cover B. And then your cover A by Werther Deladera, getting back to the roots of something is killing the children with this one. Written by James Tyen, the fourth artist, cover artist, Werther Deladera. Back order not stopped, already gone. Pieced up out of there. With the last person in her corner gone in the order of St. George closing in, Erica finds herself totally alone and without a prayer. Can she take on the terrifying doppelganger duplicitype by herself? Or is this the end of her story? Somehow, I don't think it is going to be the end of, the sto of her story. Possible first appearance there. I just use that phrase by herself. I don't think she's going to be by herself. I think we're alone now. That's how Eric is feeling, right? There doesn't seem to be anyone around. Anyway, we're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it moving. Next, we have from Image Comics. You already know what we do. We like keys. We like spec. We like first cover appearances. So we're going to start off with Gunslinger Spawn. And what cover do we like? Which cover do we like? Cover A, meh. All things being equal. We say this all the time. All things being equal, you want cover A, which is done by Paul Renaud. All things being equal. All things are not equal. We like cover B. Because we like all of these appearances on cover B. That's what we like. Written by Todd McFarlane, artist Brett Booth, cover art by Bjorn Behrens. So then, Gunslinger's time in the present day has gone from bad to worse. Now enemies from his past have decided to ally themselves with some of his newfound acquaintances in order to rid the world of Gunslinger once and for all. New found acquaintances allies, enemies from his past, enemies we potentially have not seen before. This is how you spec. I say again, if you are only using key collector for spec, it is not spec. My glasses want to be on my face. It is not spec. It is disrespect. We got glasses out the yin yang floating around here. All the same. That's what it is. I'm very much not superficial. So we just go with the same old, same old every time down. That having been said, we are going to move along to our next book from Image Comics, Scotty, the young one up in the house, back to back. He goes from twig 
to displaying to the world his hatred of Fairyland. Or someone's hatred of Fairyland. Bunch of covers on this book. Back order, not stocked. All the way down the list. Preview game on deck. No racial variance. Just a ton of covers. I hate Fairyland, number one. We're going to, and he got some dope artists to do this thing too. He really, really recruited some really cool. Listen, this isn't even Purple Triangle. This joint is, 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 wow. This price has changed from 350 to the new price. Uh oh, that's the image first. We're going to, we're going to move on. No, 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 no. We're going to go right back. We're going to move on from that. But he definitely picked up some really dope, dope, dope artist for this joint we're gonna start off with the momoko cover b back order not stocked that is your peach momoko cover b i hate fairyland number one image comics next we have your cover c i'm sorry that was cover d we have your cover c by brett bean really really standout cover right there love the use of colors on that thing then we have your cover a but there's more we're going to go, we're going to skip cover A because that's, we're going to stop there when we want to. Our favorite artist, blank sketch, putting in work, he, she, or they does it again. Hardest working cover artist in comics, blank sketch. Then we have a Jenny Frisson. I told you, I said to you that he recruited some dope cover artist. Jenny Frisson killed the game with this cover. Love what she did on this one. She phones it into me quite a bit, and I like Jenny Frisson. This time, something different. Joe Mad. What? What? Can we pause for effect? Joe Maduera. Joe Mad doing cover art again. Where did he come from out of the video game world? What, what time is it? As fire as he's ever been. Joe Maduera cover right there. Call the people. Stanley Archer Lau. Bam. Fluff off, people. Stanley Archer Lau. And then we're going to go all the way back down to this cover A by Scotty Young. We already saw the cover B, right? By Scotty Young. Let me just make sure we did that. We did not. Yeah, let's look at the Scotty Young cover B. Love when Scotty Young isn't doing the baby stuff and he's showing you what he can really do. Love this. This book is going to be fire. F Fairyland. Hmm. Very interesting cover. F Fairyland is what he wrote. So then back to cover A. Also by Scotty Young. I hate Fairyland. So written by Scotty Young. Artist Brett Bean. Cover artist Scotty Young. Eisner Award winning writer Scotty Young and, Bre and artist Brett Bean. Brett Bean. Bring back the hit comic, I Hate Fairyland, for an all-new ongoing series. Not a mini, an ongoing. Everyone's favorite green-haired, axe-crazed maniac returns in this Deadpool meets Alice in Wonderland adventure. Gert is all grown up and living in the real world. Times are tough, and the only job she's qualified for has her trying to find her way back to the place she hates the most. Fairyland. Back order, not stocked. Purple triangle up out of there. Preview game on deck. We gon' peep it. We gon' peep it. We gone peep. Man, too many music. They're going to ban me from YouTube. They're going to ban me from Facebook. Too many musical references, and I don't care. There is your preview game on deck for I Hate Fairyland. You want this book. I want this book. You want this book. That is what it is. Next, from Image Comics, we have... I keep screaming, and Scotty Young's going to be all up in this joint, too. I keep screaming about this image, 30th anniversary anthology. Too many options on the table for you to leave it. Take them off. Why? Because what we like about this book is the potential for any one of these stories in this book to become its own property, i.e. Kaya. You remember Kaya? First appearance, image, 30th anniversary anthology. First cover appearance, image, 30th anniversary anthology. Kaya just had a hot book drop two weeks ago. So then, this is why we like this at any given time. Any one of the stories in this book can become its own property. Too many options on the table for you to choose none. Choose the Image 30th Anniversary Anthology. It is written by Jeff Johns and Various. 
artist Andrea Moody and various and really cool cover art by Andrea Moody. So then our all-star celebration of Images 30th anniversary rolls on with an all-new Casanova story by Matt Braction, Gabriel Ba, Fabio Moon, Fabio Moon. Plus World 33 by James Tynion Four and Fernando Blanco and Jack Staff by Paul Grist. This issue also features the latest installments of The Blizzard by Jeff Johns and Andrea Moody, Closer by Kieran Gillen and Steve Lever, Red Stitches by Brendan Fletcher and Erica Henderson, Gehenna by Patrick Kinlan and Mauricio Rotzenvike, Hack and Slash versus Image by Tim Seeley and Stefano Caselli, and Dutch by Joe Casey and Nathan Fox. And of course, the continuation of Billy Dogma by Dean Haspio and Stupid Fresh Mess by Scotty Young. I believe Stupid Fresh Mess will emerge in its own collected or own ongoing at a point in time or another. How about James Tenyon IV dropping World 33 in the Image Anthology number eight? Leave it on the table if you want to. I'm telling you, pull out your cellies, make the phone calls, call the people, have it on your pull list. That is what it is. Till it isn't. Junkyard Joe, number one, second print. I'm going to scream it. If you purchased the first print, fortify that investment with the second print. We get a new cover. We're going to peep this cover. It is done by Steve Beach. That is a really nice cover. Looks like the cover to an 80s World Vietnam or DVD, or excuse me, VHS. Written by Jeff Johns, artist Gary Frank and Brad Anderson, and cover artist by Steve Beach, the critically acclaimed team of Jeff Johns, Gary Frank, and Brad Anderson. Throughout history, unlikely and strange heroes have risen and fallen. Peep the timeline in Geiger number six to see the the history of unlikely and strange heroes in that timeline um, have risen and fallen. Their identities and lives a secret, but for a great evil to be stopped, their stories must be told. They are the unnamed fighting the unknown war from the explosive pages of Geiger, Geiger comes junkyard Joe. The world knows him as the comic strip by cartoonist Muddy Davis, but the truth stretches back to the Vietnam war. This is their story of sacrifices and brotherhood back order, not stocked already gone. She's gone. What went wrong? You know what? I'm never going to stop. Y'all just going to have to deal with it. So then, finally, from Image Comics, meaning this is the last book. This is Voyages number one. I really like this book. I enjoyed the synopsis. We have a preview game. It looks really good. Five issues. Back order, not stocked. Voyages, number one. Um, Sumye Keskin does all of the things on this book. Writes, draws, cover art, dope cover art. One cover, no racial variance. This is what you get. So then, what if one of the Voyager probes was found by aliens on an uninhabitable planet laid to waste by a wandering black hole? Their resources dwindling and under the thumb of a relentless tyrant Alien hero sends discovery of the probe leads to adventure and possible salvation for her and her people. Voyages is a five issue miniseries and star artist Sumye Keskin's writing debut. Back order not stopped. We are going to peep this pregame. I mean, excuse me, this preview. Look at that. Man, those pencils are dope. I mean, dope. And it looks like it is going to have depth when we talk about the writing as well. Not something that looks like you're going to be able to read it in five minutes. Something you're going to be able to sit down and enjoy. There is your preview game on Voyages, number one. I am all in on this book. You should be all in on this book. And if you're not, okay, cool. Now we move right along. First, I'm going to peep. Oh, what up, J-Pop? I'm going to peep the comic game. And then we're going to move right along into... Your Mary Marvel bullpen books. And we're going to start off with a big one here. Ooh, we, if you see the header on YouTube, if you are watching on Facebook and you see the header for this show, then you already know what time it is on this book. Amazing Spider Man number 14. I don't know why they brought me X Men. I don't even get it, but we we got enough that we need to dynamic forces signature series, not signature series, but a signed copy is an option as well. 
But we're going to start off from the bottom. Made it from the bottom. Now we're here. And I want to tell you, I just want to say, we just talked about all things being equal in the cover game. When you get a first appearance, you certainly want cover A. All things are not equal in this case. I still recommend cover A and cover C and D, I believe. We'll get to it. This is a cool cover. For those who want all of the covers, you certainly want to get this John Staub Beyond cover. You want all the covers. Not necessary to have this cover for our purposes of focus. We like keys, spec. We like first cover appearance, which brings us to the Ed McGinnis Hallow's Eve cover featuring the first, a first cover appearance because she's on two covers of this issue. I believe if you look at the insignia at the bottom of the book, the barcode, the one that has the earliest number will be the one, meaning if it is cover B versus cover C and she's on both covers, cover B is going to be obviously the most desirable, but just to be on the safe side, I wouldn't leave any of these covers on the table. This is your Ed McGinnis Hallow's Eve cover of the first appearance of Hallow's Eve, who makes her first appearance in this book, as well as on the cover. Next, we have your 1 in 25 copy Alex Maleev incentive featuring Chasm, otherwise known as Ben Riley. Dark Web is approaching. This is your Dark Web variant. And then we have your another Ed McGinnis. This is a design variant. It is it, it's going to precede the Hollow's Eve cover. It features Hollow's Eve. There it is. This to me is the most desirable cover. Here's the insignia down here. It is so you have issue number 14. Cover B. What more do we want? We want the Ed McGinnis design variant. We have your Dark Web Prelude variant by Kyle Hotz featuring Madeline Pryor, also known as the Goblin Queen. Love that they're putting Spider-Man. He just fought these X characters, right? He just had beef with Demon Bear in, in Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man. And now he's encountering the Goblin Queen. Really dope. And then you have your cover A. What are we doing here? You don't want to show me your cover A. Here it is. Cover A. Done by John Ramita Jr. featuring Chasm. What is this thing about? Well, it's written by Zeb Wells, artist Michael Dowling, and various cover artists, John, Mar John Romita Jr. Dark Web Prelude. We haven't seen Chasm since ASM number 894 and the free comic book day issue, but that doesn't mean he hasn't been busy. Join us for this very special issue featuring Spidey's most dangerous new villain, as well as the Goblin Queen, and a all caps brand new villain that you won't believe potentially to first appearances of villains. I'm going to say that again. Spidey's most dangerous new villain, as well as the Goblin Queen and a brand new villain that you won't believe. The brand new villain is probably Hallow's Eve. The new villain is probably Chasm, now turned ne'er-do-well. No preview game for that. So that is Amazing Spider-Man number 14. Next, I keep saying, Marvel's Multiverse Matters. You better be buying the Marvel Multiverse book. If you're not, what are you doing? You know who came up out of the multiverse? Miles Morales. Who else came up out of the multiverse? How about Spider-Gwen? Who else came up out of the multiverse? How about Captain Car Captain Carter? How about Spider-Man 2099, 2099? How about Old Man Logan? Key characters that have come up out of Marvel's Multiverse you do not, if you are collecting for investment purposes, and you are because you're watching this show and you like keys, you like spec, you like first appearances, well, you should be collecting Avengers forever. Key after 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 key, after key in Avengers Forever. Which cover do we like? Well, you have two covers. You have the Red Wolf cover by Jeff Shaw. Really cool cover. Completionist like myself. Grab that cover. But the cover you want is cover A 
featuring the first appearance of Robbie Reyes as the All Rider. What? He rides everything? Is that what it means? I don't know. But you're going to have to find out. It's written by Jason Aaron, artist James Tull, cover artist Aaron Cooter, The Pillars Conclusion. The greatest collection of Avengers ever seen has been assembled from across the multiverse, representing each of the core pillars of the group's infinite incarnations. But for one pivotal, pivotal figure, there are no other variants to be found anywhere in creation. Robbie Reyes is a ghost rider unlike any other, and now at last, his ultimate form must be unleashed. First appearance of Robbie Reyes in his super scion, if you will, form as the all rider. You want it. I'm telling you, you want it. Next, we have a new Doctor Strange book, which is rumored to feature a new team appearance. This is Doctor Strange. Fall, sunrise, I know. I see what I did there. Sunrise number one. We're going to get rid of all of this. And we are going to type in fall. And we're going to see what we get. So a bunch of covers on this thing all the way up to a one in 50, which is what we are going to start with by Pete, by David Mack, actually. What a dope one in 50. That is your David Mack one in 50. Next, we have your... Peach Momoko variant, because of course. And then we have your D. Daniel Warren Johnson variant of Doctor Strange Fall Sunrise, followed by Ron Lim. Where'd they get him from? Chilling at the bingo hall. Shout out to Ron Lim. And then we have your Trad Moore wraparound variant cover. And there is a CGC graded option on this book. So then, open up this Trad Moore joint. It is written, drawn, cover art, all of the things, Trad Moore. From the mind of Trad Moore, Dr. Strange awakens alone in a distant world, not his own. Lost a purpose and surrounded by danger, the wandering sorcerer must explore this land of blades and mystery to unravel arcane secrets and escape the deadly horrors that lie in wait. From the fantastical mind of creator Trad Moore comes a strange story like you have never seen. Doctor Strange, Fall, Sunrise, number one, Marvel Comics. Star Wars is doing all of the things for Marvel this week. If you collect Star Wars, you should be collecting Star Wars. Nothing but first appearances. In many cases, multiple first appearances in each issue of Star Wars. If you're not going to collect any Star Wars books, or excuse me, all of the Star Wars books, make sure you collect High Republic for sure. But we're going to start off with... Oh, and you want this one. This is Star Wars Revelations. Number one, some things are going to be revealed. It is a one shot. There is a CGC graded option on this book. I believe there will be first appearances in this book. You don't got to quote me on that. I mean, I'm on record. You could always just play the video back and be like, yo, issue X said first appearances in this book. I feel like there's going to be first appearances in this book. Um, one in 50 copy incentive. Of course, that's just a feeling. This is your one in 50 copy incentive by Jim, Jim Chung featuring the bounty hunters from Star Wars bounty hunters. You're going to notice a trend here. Here is your Brian Hitch variant cover featuring Darth Vader. You're going to notice a trend here. You got Darth Vader. You got the Bounty Hunters. They also have their own books. Here is your Momoko variant featuring Dr. Aphra. See the trend here? They have each one of these people, each one of these covers features someone that has their own title currently in the Star Wars universe. And then we have all of the characters. You got your Dr. Aphras, your Bounty Hunters, your Han and Luke, Chewie. You got Darth Vader. Why? Why are they doing this? We're going to find out why. That is your. That was your Phil Noto cover. So then, it is written by Mark Guggenheim, Art Salvador LaRocca, and various cover artists, Phil Noto. This can't miss Star Wars issue of the year. That's what it is. After War of the Bounty Hunters came Crimson Rain. Now, in the midst of Hidden Empire, Kira has shaken the galactic landscape to its core. But what lies beyond for the Rebellion, for the Empire, 
What role do the bounty hunters play? And what is happening to Dr. Afra? Witness the next step in the legacy of heroes and scoundrels in the galaxy far, far away. As Mark Guggenheim is joined by a ragtag team of artists to bring you an explosive tale you won't soon forget. The path to the future of Star Wars starts here. Moving right along and sticking with Star Wars. We are going to look at, uh-oh, did I just say, if you're not going to collect any Star Wars book, you should be collecting The High Republic, the future of Star Wars on television, in my opinion. And I invest in my opinion. All right, let's take out Star Wars. No, let's just take out The, even though it is called The High Republic. Yep, that's all we had to do. So then, here we have Star Wars High Republic number one, second printing. This is your Ario Anandito cover featuring the cover, a cover appearance of Vildar Mac. Tons of first appearances in this book. Tons, at least 12. Tons. If you bought the first book, fortify, excuse me, the first print, Fortify, fortify, fortify with subsequent prints. Just a no-brainer. Written by Kevan Scott, artist, cover artist, Ariel and Indito. From Marvel Comics, a new chapter begins for Star Wars The High Republic. 150 years before the fall of Starlight, another beacon burns bright in the galaxy. A beacon of faith and spirituality. Jedi, the Pilgrim Moon, the Kyber Heart. But tensions are rising in the Holy City and dark days are to come. Jedi Vildar Mac. A Jedi, safe and secure in who he is and what he could be, arrives as Jedi's fragile peace begins to crumble. But a nightmare awaits, a nameless terror that will become the stuff of legend. Star Wars, High Republic, number one, second print, still available. Make the phone calls. You want to make some phone calls? You want to call your people? Well, then do it and get the dope keys. Ooh, we. Did I say Star Wars is doing all the things this week? Star Wars is doing all the things this week. How about another subsequent print? Visions, number one. What, I, what, I, what am I doing here? Oh, too much. It's literally what I'm doing here. I am literally doing too much. Star Wars Visions, number one, second print. Here is your Takashi Okazaki cover. As we know, he did all the things. All of it. The right writing, the art. The cover art. Dope cover. I need to see more of this guy. I would like to see him on a Wolverine book. X-23. I need to see more. His art is fire. So then, I already said, Takashi Okazaki did all of the things. And from Marvel Comics, from the creative minds behind Star Wars, the Visions episode, The Duel, comes the sequel, Ronin and the Blind. Taka Oz Takashi Okazaki is continuing his storytelling from the acclaimed Star Wars Vision episode, The Duel featuring the Ronin. The mythology of Star Wars infused with elements of feudal Japan makes this a must read for Star Wars and manga fans alike and for issue X because it was dope and I'm going to fortify my investment with the second print. Again, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Marvel, decided this is going to be Star Wars week slash month as they drop the big one dropping that month. Yoda number one. I don't have a Yoda quote. I don't have a cool song to go with this one. All I have is a ton of covers that we're going to get through. There is a CGC graded option. There is a remarked sketch option. No, nope, that's the old school. That's old school. Sorry about that. There is a CGC graded option right here. We're going to go right to this one in 100 copy incentive done by Phil Noto. There it is. You remember that scene when he was beefing Dooku? Ooh, we. That was a really dope scene. We didn't know Yoda could get down like that, did we? We just thought Loda was just a little wise little guy, but nah, man, my man got it in. Kyrie Andrews with the one in 25 copy incentive. Kyrie Andrews, best work that I've seen in a long time. I mean, a long time. Kyrie Andrews did not phone this one in. He put in the work, he or she. Kyrie Andrews put in the work. And then we have your one in 10 copy incentive. It is a movie variant. Everybody remembers this scene. Then 
you fail. Remember when Luke failed and Yoda was like, then you fa listen. Y'all know this scene. You know what time it is. Empire Strikes Back. Okay, then. We're going to move along. Let's see where we want to go next. Um, we like the Common Coley variant. That is by Giuseppe Common Coley. Again, an homage cover. You know this scene. You know where it comes from. And then we have your cover A by Phil Noto. And it is written by Kevon Scott, artist Nico Leon, cover artist Phil Noto, all new adventures for the greatest Jedi of all time. To some, he was a legend. To others, he was a teacher. Now Yoda is all but forgotten, living in exile and haunted by the past. As a strangely familiar voice echoes through the swamps of Dagobah, Yoda must revisit the many lessons he has given over the years, from the days of the High Republic to the chaos of the Clone Wars. In the first of three of a three-story arc, a desperate cry for help reaches the Jedi Council on Coruscant, and only Yoda can respond. But how far will he go to protect a community from attack? Yoda, number one, first solo, get it. And finally, from Marvel, in the subsequent print wheelhouse, we have Wakanda, number one, second print, featuring a Paco Medina cover, Shuri versus the Rhino. Shuri versus Rhino. And that is Paco Medina's cover. It is written by Nar Evan Narcisse and Stephanie Williams. Art by Paco Medina and Natasha Bustos. Cover artist is Paco Medina. From Marvel Comics, the Black Panther is no longer welcome in Wakanda. Who is this proud nation without its king? Who? I mean, how about what? Anyway, this exciting new miniseries answers that question as each issue spotlights a different fan favorite Wakandan character. First up. Sherry proves that being without the Black Panther doesn't mean Wakanda is without heroes to protect it, and that there is a reason she too once wielded the power. Plus, part one of the history of the Black Panthers, a backup story providing for the first time anywhere a definitive overview of every Wakandan who has ever held the mantle of the Black Panther. Could this bottom portion be a first cover appearance of a Black Panther we have not seen before? Wakanda, number one, second print. Cell phone, speed dial, call the people. And that's what it is. Shout out to the homie, Chad Smith ish, order the lot. <laughs> Shout out to Chad Smith. Know it's know it's different time zone for you down there in Australia. So definitely appreciate you popping in. Peter Maresca, J Pop. Everyone that decided to watch, again, keep the lights on. Like and follow Comic Sense on Facebook and join the Facebook group. Check us out on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Find us on Instagram. Also, find the ishue.x page on Instagram. Follow us on the Twitter. Quick recap, and we up out of here. Shout out to you on your Tuesday morning. Hope your coffee is as good as mine and certainly not iced coffee. Again, from DC Comics, can't pull up Lunar. Try one more time. Try one more time to see if we can get Lunar up in this thing. Lunar is tripping. It says this site can't be reached. So I'm not able to show you the Lunar books and it's still tripping. So we're gonna move along. You want Batman Spawn, number one, Nightwing, number 98, first appearance, first cover appearance of Night Might. Stargirl, The Lost Children, number one, first appearances. Wonder Woman, number 204, facsimile edition, reprinting the first appearance of Nubia. Dark Crisis, World Without a Justice League, Batman number one. Very dope new Batman costume on that cover. Um, some indie books, Born of Blood number one, Death Rage number one, Miss Meow number one from Boom. You want that local comic shop day, Grim number one, it will be a fifth printing. Something is Killing the Children number 26. I have a suspicion we are going to get a new character and ally for Erica Slaughter. I mean, you don't got to quote me on it. You don't have to. It's on record. It is my belief. Happy to be wrong. Image. Gunslinger Spawn number 14 with a bunch of cover appearances. I Hate Fairyland from Scotty Young. Image, 30th Anniversary Anthology, number eight. New Story from James Tynion up in that thing. World 33. Junkyard Joe, number one, second print. Voyages, number one, is going to be the book of the week from Image for me. Marvel, Amazing Spider-Man, number 14. 
Hallows Eve. You want that A cover, you want that design cover, you want that Hallows Eve variant cover. Those are the covers you want. Avengers Forever, number 11, cover A. You want cover A, first cover appearance of Robbie Reyes as the All Rider. Dr. Strange, Fall Sunrise, number one, rumored to be a first team appearance in that book. Fantastic Four Facsimile Edition, number 52, didn't cover that. We already know what that thing reprints. Star Wars Revelations, number one, the future of the current Star Wars era in comics begins here. The High Republic, number one, second print, subsequent print of a book that has at least 12 first appearances. Um, Star Wars Vision, number one, second print. Yoda is getting his own title. You want to be all up over that. First solo series featuring Yoda. Wakanda, number one, second print. Possible first cover appearance on that Wakanda, number one, second print. That is what it is. Shout out. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out to all of the people this morning. We are going to get ready to get up out of here. This has been Final Order Cutoff, Uncanny Spec, otherwise known as Focus. It is a comic sense, shut up ish production. I am Issue X, and I'm going to go ahead and shut up. Pieces. <laughs>